What do you think the hardest part about being married to you is? That breath? Me? Just in general, or? <laughs> Might be that breath right now. I don't know. I think I'm pretty easy to live with. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Taylor. We're the Avalos family. <laughs> My family's not here. I don't know why I'm motioning like they're here, but um, we have two girls that are two and eight months, and then baby number three is cooking in here, due in August, and that's a baby boy. So today I'm making a video of the five hardest things about me being married to a police officer. Joshua was hired. Um, at the police department that he's with now about two years ago so it hasn't been too long that we've been a leo family but um i just wanted to share kind of our experience and what i as a spouse find the most difficult with being married to someone in this profession so i have my little list so hopefully it's gonna be good so the first thing i wrote down is differing sleep schedules um so my husband works nights he works four 10-hour shifts and he works 8 p.m to 6 a.m so every other month that switches from weekdays to weekends um like right now he's working thursday through sunday so um we only really sleep together two nights a week um and that's because on the third night of his weekend he tries to stay up all night and get used to his um schedule for the week and not only can that be hard because we enjoy sleeping in the same bed but on his weekend he tries to adjust to our schedule so during his work week he's staying up all night and um, he's used to that schedule and then the first day of his weekend he'll try to just be on our schedule and he really just feels like jet lag the whole time and always that first day of his weekend he feels nauseous and just like not good it's kind of hard on his body I don't know if other people experience that that work nights but um, yeah just like flipping schedules like that can be really hard and then it's like he can't enjoy the time fully with us because he's not feeling well. So it gets kind of frustrating for him, for me, because, you know, I've been tending to the girls all week and we want to spend time with him and he's just not feeling up for it all the time. So that can be kind of hard. And then just, um, yeah, like I said, not sleeping in the same bed all the time. Uh, I do try to make a point, something that helps us with that, I do try to make a point to... Um, like take a nap with him, lay with him for a little bit during the day if the girls are napping at the same time. Um, or like on his weekends when he stays up all night, he'll go lay down with me until I fall asleep. And so that really helps with that, just like still having that connection and um, going to bed together because uh, throughout our marriage, we'll be married for seven years in July. An important thing was for us was to always go to bed together at the same time so nobody like stays up watching tv or whatever we just go to bed together as a couple and that's just what we do and we really enjoy that and so yeah and then moving on to number two would be people's perception so i feel like he's in a career path that he should be proud of we should be proud of and be able to talk about but there's times in social settings where i'm like i'm not sure this is like the best place where i want to say my husband's a cop or like you know, he always says he works for the city and I feel like it should be celebrated that he's a cop and he does what he does. But there's times where, you know, it kind of feels like he can't be proud of what he does. And um, at like even family events, like there's just times where you have to hear like anti-cop stuff, especially in today's world. Like, and so that can be kind of challenging um, because we want to, you know, be open about what he does and, um, he wants to, you know, he worked hard to be doing what he's doing and so it should be something that he's proud of, but it doesn't always feel that way. Um, and then another thing to go along with people's perception is suddenly they think that like a phone call to us will like save the day on certain things and they'll, even me, like they'll call me and say, oh, I'm driving down the road, blah, 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 is Joshua working, da, da, da. I'm like, I don't, I don't know anything, sorry. Or like, this just happened on this street, was Joshua there? Like. I don't know it seems like people think he's always everywhere working all the time and he sees everything um and it's no like foul against anyone like they don't know when he's working or whatever so it's worth the ask but it feels like we're constantly being called or asked or like what's going on here why are there so many cops here blah blah, blah. that was number two so moving on to number three 
I feel funny because he's just in the other room listening to me. I feel like he's eavesdropping. Um, but he's hanging out with Violet right now so I can record this. But number three, he sees the worst in people. So, you know, um, when he got hired on, a lot of people warned us because I think law enforcement has like, is like the, one of the top um, careers for divorce rates. And so a lot of people were like, oh, it's gonna be really hard on your marriage and you know, all these things. And so far it hasn't. I know it's only been two years, but um, our marriage has been no different. And I think people say that because um, officers see the absolute worst in people, where some careers you see the best or you see all this wonderful, everything wonderful, you know, in this, in this field, you're seeing the worst in people and um, just like people can do evil things and he's seeing that on a daily basis. And so I think that can wear on people and really harden them and they kind of lose empathy and um, they, and compassion and it can be hard in a marriage when someone becomes hardened like that. Um, I've definitely noticed in Joshua, you know, he's a little more wary of people, not very, tr like he can be not very trusting. Um, but I try to remind him, you know, love like Jesus. <laughs> Just try and think the best in people no matter what. I know you see the worst, but, and he, he puts a guard up because of that, because he does see the worst. But so to kind of help us with that, we just pray and help us to always, that helps us to always like, do our best to think like Jesus, be like Jesus, and to try and see the best in people regardless of his profession and what he sees on a night, I should say nightly basis. So that can be hard and just knowing like what he has to see when he is at work. And um, he does share a, a lot with me on his, on what he does and what he sees. And I know some wives, like there's certain things they don't want to hear, but um, for me, like even the hard, like he hasn't had to see like anything too terrible yet, thankfully, but he, he is pretty open about what goes on at work and um, I try my best to be supportive to him and um, let him share that because I know it's important to talk about the things that go on. Um, and then a question I get a lot is like, how can I be married to someone in law enforcement? Isn't it scary? Like, don't I get nervous every time he walks out the door to go to work? And honestly, I don't want to sound cold or like, like I've been hardened or whatever, but I don't feel nervous when he leaves to work. And I just like attribute that to the, to God giving me, you know, peace and just, I pray for him before he goes every night. And when he walks out the door, you know, he's going to do his job the best he knows how he's going to be safe the best he knows how. And, um, I know he has a good squad who's looking out for him and they protect each other and he, God's looking over him. And I think, um, we could, you know, accidents happen all the time. And you never know. You could be driving down the street and get in a car accident or get hit by a car. And I just can't live my life in fear because of my husband's career. And so I don't, I don't feel anxious or nervous when he leaves. So I'm really thankful for the peace that God has given me. And um, yeah, I just don't want to live my life in fear because a life lived in fear is a life half lived. So thankful for that. Um, there's only been one time where I felt, my dog just shook her whole body. There's only been one time where I felt kind of nervous and that was because he texted me in the middle of the night and said, just got in a fight or something like that. And I hadn't like, he didn't update me, he didn't say anything. I woke up at like two in the morning to the text and I, what that didn't really worry me too much, but um, what worried me is I had missed like two calls from one of his coworkers. And I was like, and she's someone that I know. And I'm like, this is really like out of the norm for her to be calling me. So then I was like, okay, what's going on? Call Joshua. He's not answering. I called his coworker. She wasn't answering. And then, so I just prayed and said, Lord, please help him be okay. Please help everyone be okay. Like all these things, praying. And what happened was our iClouds, I don't know if you guys are going to know what I'm talking about, but our iClouds were linked or synced or whatever. And so any calls that he was getting were showing up on my call log too. So she didn't actually call me, she was calling him, but it showed up on my phone. And so because she called me and that's like, she's never called me before, I was like, what's going on? But then he called me right back and he was like, sorry, all is, all is good. So that was the only time I felt a little nervous that maybe something was happening, but he's really good about updating me. And if he's working overtime or whatever, if he has to stay over, um, he lets me know so that I don't sit worried. Why isn't he home yet? Um, that was number four. That leads me to number five. 
So all of the overtime, there's a lot of overtime that he works. Um, sometimes it's just part of his normal shift. He has to stay over. Maybe he got a DUI close to the end of shift and he has to stay longer to deal with that. And the bummer about that is he would normally get home at like 6.30. Well, now it's pushing back when he gets home and that's pushing back when he needs to wake up and that's ruining time that we could be spending together as a family. Um, and then it can be hard sometimes he tries to work one to two overtime shifts a week, um, and sometimes we know when that's going to be, but sometimes it's just they call on the day of, say, hey, you want to work, and he'll go in and work. I like it better when we can plan and we know when he's going to work overtime, if it's like a set event or whatever, um, because we can plan our days better and just know what to expect more. Because in my mind, when he's sleeping and he wakes up, there's like a bunch of things that I want to do, or maybe I want him to watch the girls for a minute, and he is already thinking oh i'm gonna work overtime or they're gonna they call him and he's like i'm gonna go in and so i think what really helps us with that is just having communication about like when he gets home in the morning if i'm awake we'll talk about like oh what are you gonna do today oh i was hoping you would do this with me i was hoping i was gonna work overtime so we just try and commute what are you doing for yeah we're out so you're gonna have to go to the diaper bag out in the car i gotta get more so we just try to be really communicative about our expectations for the day. Um, I will add though to his schedule right now, him working nights is actually really nice for our family besides the hardships on his body. But um, it's really nice because he gets home at around 6.30, he goes to bed between then and seven and um, he wakes up around 1, 1 1.30. And then we have the whole afternoon to spend together as a family. And that's usually when the girls are waking up from their nap. So it's Violet's second nap of the day and Bear's only nap. So we have all that time to spend together before he goes to work again. He leaves a little after 7. Whereas if he was working like the day shift or whatever, he'd be gone all day and then getting home only an hour or two before the girls go to bed. So right now for our lifestyle, the night shift does work best. But it can just be hard adjusting to his weekends. Um... And it can also be hard because I'm here alone, so I don't have his help at night with the girls, which is fine. Right now, it's not that big of a deal. Violet wakes once a night, once a night, but with the new baby and if Violet is still not sleeping through the night, I could see how that is going to be a little more difficult. But um, I just try to have a really good attitude and try to um, be compassionate to what he's doing and what what he may have seen that night or if he had a rough night or whatever. Um, so like I said, this can be a hard career to be married to, but I'm not married to the career. I'm married to my husband and this is the career that he has and I fully support him and I am so glad that he's in this career because we need good people, um, in law enforcement and I believe that he is a very good person and he offers good things to the profession and we just remain prayerful and hope we pray that he could be used and I think that helps us in our relationship just, um, giving it to God and knowing that this is where God wants him to be. And that's what gives me this peace and comfort. And I'm just thankful for that. I don't like it when he walks through when I'm recording and talking about him. I feel like I can't be unfiltered. Um, so with every difficult thing of the career, there's also a positive. So I didn't want this video to sound too negative. I kind of wanted to go um with something positive with every hardship i talked about so hopefully if you're you know if your spouse is just getting a job in law enforcement this video can be encouraging and um if you have any tips for me as a leo wife let me know um but so far two years in we've really been enjoying it and i just hope that it stays that way because i know we're still pretty new and i just give it to god amen amen all right, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe.